Welcome to I See the Light. The Prophetess Regina. I'm the lightning back with another one. God bless. God bless. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations and you're not letting anybody dim your light. Looking at a squirrel. I'm at the park. <laughs> Look. It's so nice outside. It's like 75 out here today. It rained last night. Oh, God, it's good. So it's cloudy. Good breeze. I'm under the tree at the park. I don't have to fight nobody for no shade because it's just shady out here today. Look at God. Look at God. I'm here to praise God. I'm here to praise you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You know I was coming. I mean, I had to come all the way across town to come here today because this is where I wanted to fellowship. Are y'all ready to fellowship with me? Are y'all ready to praise God? Lift up the vibration of the world. Um. Oh, my fingernail finally fell off. Ain't that ugly? I know. I know. It'd be like that sometimes. I don't know if I'm going to get my nails done. Um, and Keep my nails up. I might just rock them natural. You know, because I need my fingertips to do things. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm here to praise God. First, I want to say I love you, Heavenly Father. And I want to say I love you, Holy Spirit. I never let you go. I love you, Holy Spirit. I never let you go. All right. Today's date is September the 14th, 2023. I have some corrections to um, say first from my last video yesterday, which I was talking so fast, I kind of messed up a little bit. Nina Simone did not die in 2023. I said she passed away in 2023 in the video, but she passed away in 2003, which I did not know that. I didn't know she lived that long of a life. Yeah, until I looked that up. So, I thought she passed in her 40s, but she lived a nice long life, didn't she? Um, R.I.P. to Nina Spoon. Now, I also wanted to say Mr. Ben is suing um, Beverly Hills on the behalf of or uh, representing uh, uh, quite a few African Americans that have been mistreated in Beverly Hills over the years. And he's suing not for $5 billion, which would be great. If he can get that, we can build our own city for real, real then. Or, but um, it's five hundred million, which is great too. That's a lot of money. Mhm. Mm That's a lot of change. Good luck, Mr. Ben. Um, pray. Uh, I pray that everything is successful when it comes to this case. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, because it's time. It's, the, it's called the big payback. It's called it's called the cotton picking season. So, um, corridor was the word today that came up in my head. Corridor, which led me to Isaiah 32. But before I get started with that, I want I want to say this prayer today that I wrote, and it's called the prayer over the outcome we're gonna pray for we're gonna pray over the outcome of things today mm -hmm. that's what the holy spirit and heavenly father t instructed me to do we're praying for outcome today so at this time i would ask you to please respect the lord and god bless universe Mighty, powerful God, we praise you, Most High, Divine Source. I come on the behalf of your people who work 24-7 in the army fighting for what is just order and walk in guidance of your loving light oh how we praise you for your mighty work we can see it is revealing 
your hand is revealing the the ones who are guilty of misusing their authority mm -hmm, i see lord jesus and we thank you oh you are you are working you are working you are working our prayers are working thank you jesus we thank you we thank you over and over again the days have come the days where change has no choice but to change and we thank you and we praise you for this satan will not control the minds of the people and the plots and the undercover works you are shedding light on them and we thank you lord jesus we see your mighty works. We see your hand at work, Lord Jesus. We see the power of your hand. Your power has, has moved out. It's starting to move people out of offices. It's starting to show the evilness in the, the, um, in the titles of authority. Burn down their assemblies. Burn down their towers. Burn down their nations. All evil will be destroyed. All evil will be vindicated. We will be vindicated in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Move them back, Lord Jesus, to their pits of hell. We don't want to even see them, Lord Jesus, if you can not get rid of all of them so that this world can be peaceful like it's supposed to be, Lord Jesus. I pray these things because we know you have the power and we're, we're, we're on your side. So we continue to work 24-7 and do what is right by you in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus it's going to be done in the name of jesus it's coming victory is coming for all people mm -hmm. um so y'all know the popcorn ceilings in some houses they have that little stucco stuff that's on the top of the ceiling and it's just like little tiny little balls and it covers the whole ceiling i was sitting there looking at it and I was saying to myself I said Lord Jesus I want to mm, I I want to I want to save that many souls Lord I didn't say the whole ceiling I just said a portion which would have been a couple of a couple of million if I can Lord Jesus if you give me that power Lord I'm going to use it to my best of my ability you know I will Lord you know I will I want to save souls, Lord. So, I was at the park uh, on Tuesday evening. It had rained that, that Monday night. So, that Tuesday was so beautiful. And then um, I met my son at the park. So, we sat out on the bench and talked and chopped it up and stuff and enjoyed the beautiful breeze. And everybody was out at the park. People were playing tennis. People were walking their dogs. The kids were on the playground. Um, it was just so beautiful. A lot of people were, were coming out to the park. So, we're sitting there. And mind you, it was just like today. It was a cast over the um, sky where the clouds were, so it kept the day cool. Everybody's enjoying it. So we're um, sitting there, and I said, um, we got to talking about colorblind. My brother was colorblind, and I was telling my son about this, this, um, these new glasses they done, they come out with that people get when they're colorblind, and when how they react the first time they put them on and see the beauty of God's creation and the colors of the world because they never knew it was just so beautiful and i was telling my son how people take things like that for granted and people never stop to say god look at your creation look how beautiful y'all know how i am about that so um i was saying think about it if you never seen color before and you put your glasses on i was telling my son you put those glasses on you're gonna be crying real hard you're gonna hit the ground you're probably gonna pull grass out of the ground you're gonna be rolling crying we're gonna be patting you on your back like it's okay i know man yeah i know man it's okay man yeah yeah soak it in you <laughs> good, 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 good. crying hard slob everything just 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 
crying like a witty bitty baby. All right. So as I was saying, I said, look, I was telling my son, look at how beautiful this scenery is here at this park. If we was and you was colorblind, we threw them glasses on you out here. You would probably like, you know, lose it. So he was laughing. Right. And I was like, this is true. So we're sitting there enjoying it. And um, all of a sudden, the sun came out of nowhere, like, ping. And uh, it was bright. And I was like, wow, look at that sun. So we're sitting there. And all of a sudden, my arms started heating up. And the side of my legs started heating up. And I was like, dang, this sun bright. So I looked at it. I was like, man, looking like this sun bright. I said, don't you see? He said, my son was sitting back in the, uh, on the bench like this. Like, yeah, I love it. I'm just soaking it in. I said, but it's getting awful hot. It got so hot. It was so hot. It was like we was sitting in the oven. Um, it was so hot. And I was like, nobody. So I'm looking around the, the, uh, the park. I'm like, nobody noticing how hot it's getting all of a sudden. It seemed like everybody's back was turned to, away from the sun but us. And I said, and I looked at my son and I said, CJ, oop, that's his name. Yeah, I said it, Mr. Chris. I said, this ain't, I said, this is, I said, CJ, something's going on and you, it, only you and I can see it. I said, look, look at the sun. So we're looking at the sun and we're tripping. The sun was so bright. It was so bright, you could see each ray beaming from the sun individually. And it was like it was beaming right on us. And I was like, nobody, I said, CJ, there's something going on and it's happening. And God is showing us something and only we can see it. I told you, I see things like that. And I said, God blessed my son the other day to be able to see, to see a miracle. I just said it was weird. And my son was like, it is. He said, it's something not right. He said, this ain't natural. I said, it's not natural. It was supernatural. It was hot. It was intense. It kept getting hotter and hotter. And all of a sudden, it was so, we were so fascinated with it. It was so bright. I did like this. But I, it was so bright. Then I did like, something told me to do like this. And look at it. And when I did that, I seen a whole different view. It was like, the sun was perfectly round and yellow. The brightest yellow you ever seen without going to another color, but it was yellow. And around it was pur a, a purple uh, ring. And you could see the movement in it. That was the frequency of the energy moving around the sun. And around that purple ring was a blue ring. It looked like a portal. We started taking pictures and I posted them on FB. My son did a video and out of the video came a light. I mean, out of the sun came a light that showed like it came right by the tree we were sitting at. I was like, so when he showed me, I said, what? I said, take more pictures. I said, did you see that? What was that? He said, I don't know. I said, what was that? It was like, it came from the sun. And you know what? Some things move like a, 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 a speed of light. It's, it's as though something came from the sun and came down and showed itself to us. We felt the energy of it. So I have a video that I took, but my phone wouldn't allow me to take pictures of it or allow me to video it. It was just so bright. I had to dim down and figure it out, dim down my light on my phone and then I had a video of it how bright the sun was and nobody was paying attention nobody seen it but me and my son we started taking pictures with it um he's like take a picture with me in the portal <laughs> so I took a picture with him in the portal it's funny because on the video what I was taping and when I finally figured out how to get it where I could show it you could see a beam a purple beam it was coming from the sun um and this beam kept just showing up in my pictures. In his phone, it was white, but in my phone, it was purple. But I know that could have been a beam of light kind of bu busting off the phone, but no, oh, oh. So I took some pictures and then the beam hit my head. And then it showed like a, a picture of a halo. Um, 
and they showed like and I seen like um it's you could see each individual beam still coming from the sun so we was tripping we just took a bunch of pictures it was so beautiful and we just kept saying how beautiful it was it was like wow that's not natural that's not natural i said cj this is god i said that's god god so i got a picture where something was kissing me in my face like in my face i have a picture of a halo on top of my head and i got the butt the beam of the sun directly sitting on top of my head and then you can see a spot on the ground where the beam hitting the ground from way up from from god what well, god is good so if you know where i'm at on fb you can go check that out yeah the presence of the lord is truly upon us so we said our prayer i told you a story um i just finished eating some some frozen grapes from my um my sneaky snack and um what's so funny is you're gonna turn and come back this way and look up in my face again man don't do it again man don't do it again okay and so then it's funny because they're talking about grapes because i knew before i left corridor and i was going to do isaiah 32 but i came to the park so i can write it and then come to find out they were talking about grapes but before i get started like i said i was eating frozen grapes which happens to be funny um i want to i'm gonna go and crack a joke today it might not even be funny so you know whatever okay so y'all remember the the snacks that we used to have when we were kids i did barely liked any of those snacks y'all have so many snacks today kids y'all so spoiled rotten because we didn't have very many snacks to pick from let me go ahead and break it down so y'all know um i want y'all to know i hate i hate twinkies yeah i hate twinkies um, I, I never liked them. Um, uh, today's kids are spoiled. They have all kinds of snacks. I never liked Twinkies. I never liked Moon Pies. I hated those. Ding Dongs. I hated those. Ho Ho's. I hated those. And I still hate, hate Ho's today. Um, uh, Twinkies are yucky. Okay. I don't like Oreos. I don't, I, I hated Jello. I hated Payday. Uh, I, di I didn't like sugar smacks uh, they were whack um, I didn't like Captain Crunch unless it was the ball ones I didn't like the ones that had the little grooves in them and whatever them little square ones I didn't like them them get soggy too fast and um, I, I ate M&M's because I, was, I mean that was just about the, the, the coolest candy around but I never liked them well I'm not going to say m and I'm going to say m and I didn't like them they were nasty to me God forgive my favorite was Zeros, Kit Kats, and Honey Buns, if I had a favorite snack. So, um, but most of all, I hated Twinkles. I mean, Twinkies. <laughs> Why would I say Twinkles? Why would I say Twinkles? Don't Twinkles sound like a stripper name? Twinkles? I don't know why I would say Twinkles. Anyway, let's get it in. I don't know if that was funny, but I just, like I said, a healthy snack today was grapes. <laughs> Not Twinkle, I mean, um, Twinkies. I keep saying Twinkles. Who's a stripper? Who's a stripper? A stripper named Twinkles. What the heck? Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Oh, here's another one. It says some people think because they have a special uh, parking spot, um, and they back in to that parking spot every Sunday at church, they going to heaven. <laughs> just because you got a special parking spot at church that you back into and you think you're holier than thou that don't mean you're going to heaven no it don't just because you wash your car uh sunday morning before church or saturday evening so that you your your tires will have um armor all on them and they shining and your rims all shiny and stuff don't mean that's gonna get you to heaven no it's not
let's go ahead and get it in so i'm coming to you today with isaiah 32 mm -hmm. isaiah 32 and i'm gonna start with five i'm going on from here it says here it says fools fools will not be called great and people will not respect the wicked a fool says foolish things and in his mind his plans he plans evil okay it says fools do, um, they do wicked okay and they say wrong things about the Lord a fool does not um, feel Oh, a fool does not feed the hunger, the hungry, or let thirsty people drink water. Now, I have to admit that I haven't fed the homeless lately because I'm kind of homeless. Yeah, and I gotta keep my. I'll be looking at homeless people like, please don't ask me for nothing. I'm I'm kind of strapped for cash, my dang on self right now, and I gave a little bit still a handful of change or something or a dollar or two if I you know was approached or something but here lately I think the looks that I give homeless people let the, that I give them a look like don't even ask me for nothing because I don't have it right now so it says here but I will give somebody some water or something we went to this cool my mom I was over her house yesterday because I I, I, I don't know I don't think I'm gonna be out here in these streets trying to sleep on the side of the road or nothing. It's 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 a little it's a little dangerous, and it's very uncomfortable to just be worried all night if somebody's gonna walk up on the car. So I went and spent the night over my mom's. But when she had got off, came home, she said I found out I found this cool place. One of um the people she was working with yesterday had a sandwich. And he told her where to go get it. And I had been wanting to go down there. It's called Hobbies Hoagies. The bomb. So she treated me to Hobbies Hoagies yesterday. And she was like, she'll be back. And you dang gone right. I will be back. Even though it was downtown. And the time we went, it was cool because it was the traffic was kind of died down. And it was just a spot you could park directly in front of. Because it's like downtown, you know, it's no parking. But anyway, the point is. It was delicious. Mm hmm And a guy came in, and he was talking, and I thought he was talking on the phone, and he looked like he was from Pakistan or something. And what I don't understand is how come people like that end up over here, and, and, but you're homeless? It costs to get over here. I don't understand. You know, see the homeless Chinese man that used to always be talking crazy and walking down the street where I used to live. You, you see some homeless African people. I'm like, what? Y'all, it costs for y'all to get over here. Um, then I look and I see all of these. I'm not trying to be rude. Y'all know I'm not. I see all of these Mexican people doing all this construction work, building all these buildings, working at all these work sites. And I'm like, driving nice cars, dualies, all kind of big trucks and stuff. And I'm like living good because my mother is on the side of town where a majority of, of Mexican people, it's like a majority of Mexican people at Oklahoma's full of them, but you should see the houses they're building, the houses they're remodeling, how they're living over there and how well they're doing. And I'm like, why come the side of town where the black people is called, you know, the black side of town? It's nothing over there. Why is that? I just don't understand it. Okay, let me get back. But he was in there, the, back to the story about the restaurant. He was in there talking real loud and crazy. I thought he was on a cell phone or talking like I said. I looked at my mom and I said, is he talking on a Bluetooth speaker? Bluetooth or something? And she said, I, I don't know because he acted like he was having an important meeting. Um, and then so a black guy that worked in there came from around the counter. And as soon as he did, he shut his mouth and he looked at him. He said, I just want some water. He gave him some water and he left. So, yeah, give, you know, feed feed people when you have a chance to. Uh, even if you could just drive around and get some people, have some water in your car and give it to them on a hot day. It says the wicked person uses evil like a tool. 
He plans ways to take everything from the poor. He destroys the poor with lies, even when the poor person is in the right. But a good leader plans to do good, and those good things make him a good leader. So I'm going on to um, the part that says here, the title of this part of Isaiah 32, it says, Hard times are coming. And I'm going to start with verse 9. And it says, You women who are come now, stand up and listen to me. You women who feel safe now, hear what I say. You women feel safe now, but after one year, you will be afraid. There will be no grapes harvest and no summer fruit to gather. Women, you are calm now, but you should be uh, should shake with fear. Women, you feel safe now, but you should tremble. Take off your nice clothes and put rough cloth around your waist to show your sadness. But your breast beat beat your breast in grief. Oh, bah, 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 bah. No, I'm just playing. That's I don't know. I just shouldn't have. Lord, don't don't punish me for that. That was kind of funny. It says because the fields that were pleasant are now empty. Cry because the vines that once had fruit now have no grapes. I'm gonna stop right there. I look at it like okay. I look at it like this. It's slim pick is a man. Okay? It's so slim pick as a man we is because a lot of men have decided they like men as well. Y'all stealing our men. We can't have a man for y'all men taking our men. And then you got thirsty women. I'm a, I would next time I get if you've been married once, you don't need to be married again. You're pretty damn greedy. I want to be married at least once in my life. Forget I just if uh, next time around. Hi, babe. Let's keep on going. I have 14. It says here. In 14, it says the palace will be empty. Okay. And it says people will leave the, the noisy city. Strong cities and towers will be empty. And it says, wild donkeys will love to live there. And it says, sheep will go there to eat. This is going to be running the muck. You're going to be like, um, I wish I would see a donkey just ride, running all wild downtown. Uh-huh. Y'all know how I am about donkeys. It says, 15. It says, this will continue until God pours his spirit from above upon us. The desert will be like a fertile field and the fertile field like a forest. Justice will be found even in the desert and the fairness will be found in the fertile fields. The fairness will bring peace and it will bring calm and safety forever. 18 many people will live in a peaceful place and in a safe in safe homes and in calm places of rest amen i love that part because that's what i wish for everyone i want everybody to have a safe place to live like i would love to have a safe place to live and somewhere that's quiet like um the airbnb that i just left yesterday it was that neighborhood it wasn't too far from where I used to live, but just because um, it was so quiet, it was so different. It was no trash because it wasn't a, a trashy little tacky apartment complex across the street. Um, I didn't see nobody walking down the street talking crazy, meth heads or whatever those people are's problems is over there. They wasn't on that street. It was quiet. That's why I want to listen. We're very quiet and peaceful and safe. It says, hell will destroy the forest and the city will be completely destroyed. But you will be happy as you plant seeds near every stream and you let your cattle and donkeys wander freely. Now, I gotta say something about that. I don't think, I mean, it's just the Bible, but I'm being honest because see, God said be honest. Now, God, 
I don't want no donkeys running free. Donkeys have to take number twos, and then if they run the free, if you just like having a big old giant, um, what are those called? Uh, what are them? Dang, uh, Great Danes. Can you imagine how big the Great Danes number twos are? And you got a Great Dane in your backyard, and you got big old piles of crap. No, so we need to have a designated place for our donkeys. Okay, that's just one of the hey, that's just one of the rules that I prophetess Regina would have in her little city or town or whatever um, village. So the breakdown of this is the fruit field, a different one it says, will be transformed into a wilderness, and the order of the world will be totally reversed. Justice will reign in the well in the wilderness, and the righteous in the field righteousness in the field everyone will live in peace the donkeys and the ox can reign freely range freely and the forest will be the city oh wait a minute and the forest and the city will both disappear and i guess jesus will protect us at that time from all of this that's going to happen and it says it will be like a hiding place from the wind like a shelter from the storm like a like streams of water in a dry place this is what righteous leaders are like is like what a righteous leader is like like the shadow of a great rock in a weary land i want to be that kind of leader lord jesus i want to i want to help people i want to i want to I want to put people in their palaces and, and bring them um, towards you for healing, Lord Jesus. Okay, and so back to what I was saying about the women, the thirsty women. Okay, so the grapes, the vines, there won't be no pickings. Um, the ones you, you ones that do have a husband y'all need to go to counseling and seek help or whatever and get it back right and stop getting all these divorces people get to go get married and get a divorce like um y'all um in high school just holding hands and breaking up that's not how that work and um i'm gonna i'm gonna say right now ain't nobody messing with bay i know i said i'm i'm, I'm pulled back for bay get bay space because I got to keep my mind right. And it's hurtful that I'm out here in the streets, babe. And they know why I did it. But ain't nobody finna be trying to um, throw their little shot at bay. Period. No. You sure ain't. What is the message today? <laughs> There's going to be some order in the court. We bring, we bring order back. Yeah, that's what we doing. All right, and I have energy in my purse that I pulled yesterday. I pulled this yesterday because I was going to do it in my mommy's house, but I decided to come to the park. So this is the energy that I had pulled yesterday or yesterday evening for today. Let's get it in and see if it, what it's talking about. Mm -hmm. So we have the lovers here. Yeah, the lovers card. Somebody in love. Look at that romance. If you got somebody special, you better hold on tight to them. You, you treat them right, okay? What they say, treat your woman right or hit that burning bed at night. You got to treat her right, treat her right, treat her right. You, don't, you ain't want none. Okay, we got the Empress here. Yeah, receiving love. The Empress embodies, she's not somebody you want to play with, right? So the Empress, let's see, she got that cross on her chest, she knows stuff, she's wise, she sits on a throne, she's, she says everything. She's a mother, a wife, she's devoted, she's comforting, okay? Let's see what else. So we have a dark empath energy here. It's someone who tends to have no emotions or physically, uh, or feelings, uh, any emotions at all. Oh, we don't need those kind of people because those kind of people will do anything to hurt you and laugh and um, be like, huh, um, that sounds like a messy woman. 
It could be a lot. Hey, hey. And what's worse than a messy woman? A messy man? A man that gossip is way worse than a woman that gossip. Boy, when I when you got it, you a man standing with his hand on his hip, being got being messy. If y'all don't stop, it says your love is magic. Somebody's love is magic. Don't look at my nails, man. I didn't find my fingernail foul. Y'all know I got for the genius about our nails. Okay, we have the lovers again. So we got the lovers two times here. Bay. Hold up. I know, right? They need to get it together. Come get Prophetess Regina. And it says, fall on your knees and repent. We're calling in repentance for people. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to spread the word to repent. Um, we might have to do that every night. Like, God forgive me for what I did today. But we just can't keep on doing this. So I was watching um, this morning at 5 o'clock. My mom watched this one. Um, what's that? Shepherd's something house or something. Where the guy comes on. He's passed. Uh, rest in peace. But he's, um, his ministry still comes on. And it's pretty good. And he was saying, God forgives all sins. Um, everybody can be forgiven as if they repent. And he said... It's not like, um, he said, divorced people can remarry. I'm like, I beg to differ. Yeah, we can, but I already get, I already broke that down. Um, yeah, for one thing, you're not about to... Da, 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 da. They is a special type of brother. You raggedy souls, big she devils, ain't about to get back. Period. So, stop. Wait, they looking real stupid. I'm just saying forgive prophet i'm not hey and i'm not trying to be a thug i'm just being real i'm as real as it gets okay so stop and it says god loves you i love you you're loved so smile okay and it says i believe it i claim it i did i decree it I declare it in the name of Jesus. I declare all things. I still say I'm going to manifest what I want, but it's just so sad that I got to go through a process of this terrible, terrible time when I've been through so much in my life already. Y'all don't understand. It's like I'm in hell. We got a hoarder energy. Hoarder. A pack rat um, will clutter up their homes or apartment with a lot of stuff, but when confronted, they become offensive. Compulsive disorder problem. Mm -hmm. As as one um, out of five adults have this ADH, and they could uh, sufficient ordering symptoms and hand um, ordering tends to get worse with age. And it says spoiled rotten, which I was talking about. The kids are spoiled rotten with their food, the choices of snacks that y'all got today. It's not fair. It's really not fair. All right. Watch yourself. Y'all eating too much. You know, you don't want to be eating too much candy and stuff right out your teeth. Okay, let me go. It says when we see others as the enemy, we risk becoming what we hate when we oppress others we end up oppressing ourselves all of our humanity it depends upon recognizing the humanity in others um desmond tutu thank you mr tutu remember we were talking about con artists the other day so they've got a con artist tarot um energy in the house Stop conning people. And um, it says, practice what you teach. You may on here acting like y'all holy and stuff, or acting like y'all so spiritual, and y'all y'all ain't. Y'all just putting on a, this a act for um, money and stuff. Well, I mean, everybody got to have an income. I'm still trying to figure out how to get me one. It says, focusing on the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. 
and it says um spiritual gift we all have one i'm, I'm tapping into mine because i'm trying to live in my north note but it's hard to live in your north note when you're living in your car <laughs> i love fire sign energy in the house fire sign energy i actually am a leo virgo but in my north note that would make me an aquarius i think aquarius pisces pisces aquarius pisces what comes for pisces i don't know capricorn anyway it says repentance as i said it says sorrow for sins and humble um penance and contribution before um contribute contribution before god but it involves turning away from sin discontinue um all evil practices and deeds vital change remember i said change is going to happen change is going to happen regardless the change is happening and it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be left behind and living in misery a lot of people are already especially ones the ladies that's thirsty out there looking for a husband and they think they're going to get back in the night you're not getting back period stop trying to throw hints and stuff May is what? Monogamous. Mm-hmm. Bay is a monogamous, monogamous man. And he's going to be. He already got it. He already got a woman. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one and love the other. Or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. And if somebody is conceited for one Oh, he's smoking some reefer. <laughs> no. Okay. Conceited for oneself. Expose them. You, you conceited ladies that think y'all got a chance with Bay. Because y'all think y'all look good. No. Your soul's raggedy. Um, that um, The pastor that are only in it for greed. Ooh. Look at there. Oh, these are the ones that just I, I these are the ones I had it. Oh, they just all can't. Oh, I never did mix them up. Let's go ahead and read them. These are new downloads. I just just guess they didn't come apart in the um spirit box. It says, Pastors that are only in it for greed, expose them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And it says, Crooked pastors, priests, devils, um, with a Bible, their frauds, expose them, Lord Jesus. Now, if you're not that kind of a pastor. Don't even, don't worry about it. You know your faith. You know where you ride. You know if you riding riding a donkey with Jesus or you riding a donkey to hell. You know which way you're going. Your time will be up. Look, expose the sex demons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sex demons. That hurt. That hurt children. I want those exposed, Lord Jesus. I want all of them. I want sex rings to be exposed for um what they do. Um sex trafficking expose them lord jesus adults who are grooming children to molest them expose them lord jesus yes um child abusers remember i said there's outlines please call if you think anybody's hurting a child it says child abusers mental and physical and sexual abusers expose them lord jesus expose the bigots the bigots the unreasonable um people that think that they have something or more superior they're more they think they're more superior than others and they think everything is right and it's not i want y'all to, to go away and expose those bigots and prejudiced people hateful it's against god's law amen get rid of them lord jesus we come to praise you we come to praise you and do this work lord jesus i'm i'm, I'm trying my best to do my part lord jesus because I'm mature, grown, positive, humble, and I'm chosen in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We ain't trying to do this. Some people like this. This is not pleasing to God. Now, I know in the Bible they had country, um, what do they have? What else called? Concubines and stuff? I'm nobody's concubine. Hey, I'm not about to be in a, a harem. I'm not going to be wife number uh, 43. This is the truth. And it says, yes, supersize mine. 
uh, supersize mine and um, protect mine, Lord Jesus, because I, I know what mine is. And it says, people scamming people for profit and uh, social media. Expose all of them, Lord Jesus. And y'all got some slutty ways. I'm talking about the one of my, I'm just saying, I'm going to make a band of good, my next husband. What are you talking about? You should be ashamed of yourself putting something like that on social media. My next husband, I'm going to be good to. Lady, you sound so thirsty. I ask the creator to please grant me the power of the master 22 to manifest, to give me the powers to create and whatever my desires are, as long as I do it with a pure heart in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. It says sunshine on me. I just let the sun shine on me. And it did the other day. I'm telling y'all, I was so beautiful. I was like, this is magnificent. Look at God. And I need my tambourine. Babe, I want a tambourine. Because I'm a tambourine man. And it says, no, um, somebody has no good intentions. Probably one time, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, sit your uh, thirsty selves down. He's not available. And that is the message for today. Amen? And God bless. Don't mess with Bay. I mean that. Y'all know. Okay? All right. Take care. And until next time. Stay up and stay bright for the world to see. And remember, we're all one. God bless.